what's up y'all welcome back to my channel yeah we back with the watercolor method today trying to achieve this fall color hair well not try because i did as you can see it turned out bomb so we finna get right into it so i got this wig off of amazon actually from a company called creasy hair this is a little card that came within the box and it came with two wig caps and the wig obviously is 613 lace frontal wig in 22 inches i'm gonna do a full video on it later so don't even worry about it um, I ran my fingers through it, didn't get no shedding, it's really soft, it's a little thin for my liking, but it's cool, we still gonna work with it, and I believe it's a Swiss lace, and it came with three combs in the front, a comb in the back, and the adjustable strap. So I took my fine tooth comb and combed the hair one more time, make sure there's no tangles, and I didn't get no shedding still. So what you're gonna need is a bucket, the wig obviously, because what you gonna die if you don't have no hair. A fine tooth comb, some gloves, a towel, and the three colors from Adora, French Cognac, Copper Brown, and Cajun Spice. And something to mix with. So we're gonna start with Cajun Spice, fill your bucket up with hot water. I got my hot water straight from the sink. I ain't finna boil no water, all them extra steps ain't necessary. Get that hot water from the sink, put that full bottle of Cajun Spice in there. Second color is French Cognac. Put the full bottle of that in there. And then the third color, I believe, is Copper Brown. And I only put half of that color in there, I believe, the first time. Yeah, half. And later on, I put some more. So in total, I used about 3.5 fourths of the Copper Brown. But right here, I only use half. So mix that up real good. Make sure you don't have no clumps of dye in that water. Mix that dye up in there. Because if you got clumps in that water and you dip that wig in there, it's going to turn out patchy. And I done seen some folks with some patchy watercolor hair, and it ain't cute. So mix that dye up in there. So we're going to test out the color on the ends first to see if it's to my liking. And it wasn't. It was a little bit too light for me. So we're going to add a little bit more of that copper brown in there. And what you need to keep in mind is that when the hair is wet, the color is going to appear a little bit darker. So the color that you're actually going to get is going to be a little bit lighter than that when it dries. So I add a little bit more of that copper brown and mix it up real good. Tested it again. And the color I was seeing was a little bit darker than the color that I was going for, which is perfect. Because like I said, when it dries, it's going to be a little bit lighter than that. So I knew it was going to give me the perfect color I was going for, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. I really do. So you want to do these up and down motions, keep dunking it in the water, up and down. Make sure every single strand is getting coated. You don't need no blonde strand sticking out. Run your fingers through it. Take that fine tooth comb, run it through there, and make sure every single blonde strand is covered in dye. You don't need no blonde hair sticking out that is ghetto. Please make sure it's dye all over that hair. So after that, we're going to leave the wig to sit in the dye for about 10 more minutes and then come back. And this is what it's looking like. Now, I know it look a little dark, but like I said, it's going to be dry to be a little bit lighter than that because the color is going to appear darker while the hair is wet. And it didn't even tint the lace. That's another thing. The dye didn't even tint the lace at all. But this is what it's looking like. So we're going to co-wash the hair with this Tresemme conditioner and then come back. So these are the final results after I co-wash the hair. So now we're going to get into styling. I sprayed the hair with this Chi Iron Guard heat protecting spray and started blow drying with my dimming brush and my blow dryer. Obviously, what the fuck else are you going to blow dry with? So as I'm blow drying, you're going to start to see what I was talking about earlier, how the hair starts to lighten up when it's dry. Like you can see the hair's true color when it's dry. It's darker when it's wet. I hope it's making sense. I know I said it about 10 times, but I need y'all to understand because I don't think it made sense. And this is how much shedding I got from blow drying. So I just parted the hair into a middle part and now I'm going to spray it with my Beyond the Zone, turn up the heat, heat protection spray, and it gives the hair a little bit of a shine as well. And now I'm flattening out the top with my Andy's hot comb that I got from Walmart. And now I'm plugging the part right here. I felt like the part was a little bit too thick for me. I mean, you you wear it how you want to. But I just plugged a little bit. I, it really wasn't that much. You might not can't even tell the difference, but it looked a little bit better to me. So that's all that matters. So now I'm taking my hot comb again and defining that part, making sure everything is flat. Now I'm sectioning the hair off to get ready to style it. I'm going to be wand curling it. We already sprayed it with heat protecting spray, so it's all good. And I think I got this wand curler from Sally's. I think so. Anybody else say Sally's with an S on the end? I know it ain't no S on it, but I be putting the S on there. 
but you just want to hold the curl right there till it cools so your curl don't fall make sure it stay tight and spray it with some hairspray i use that volumax hairspray i don't even know what that is the lady gave it to me at salads when i bought the wand curl obviously you just want to keep doing this till all your hair is curled keep wrapping the hair around the wand letting it cool spray it with the hairspray you know you get it So now I'm taking my eyebrow razor and we're just gonna cut these baby hairs a little bit shorter so we can start styling those. So what I'm using to lay the baby hairs is my Nairobi Foaming Wrap. And I've been using this for a couple months now and I feel like it looks the most natural compared to like gels or the got to be. I feel like the Foaming Wrap gives you the most natural results if that's what you wanna go for. So now I'm just taking my fingers and raking through the curls, fluffing them out. Y'all, this looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. I was really scared to do this video, but it looks so good. Like, look at it. The watercolor method is very beginner friendly. I have never dyed hair a day in my life. And I feel like this was really easy. Like this was super simple to do for my first time. Like this turned out really good. I'm just taking my hot comb again, flattening out the top, making sure everything looks good, adding my little finishing touches or whatever. And these are the final results. Look at her, y'all. Like, yes. But I hope y'all like this video. I hope you learned something. I hope everything made sense. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!